the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you the governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the 2021 Anambra State governorship election, Mr. Valentine Ozubo, has vowed to unseat Solodo. The present Anambra State governor has 300 APCA members, they come to Labour Party. All right, my people, welcome back to this wonderful channel as we bring you back to back update as it is hot. In case it's your first time of joining this wonderful channel, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, and also the notification bell to get notified whenever our news drop so that now you're gonna be the first to watch my people not be small mats at the apple for this country daddy whatever i can go give what i'll be saying the governorship candidate of the people democratic party in the 2021 number state governorship election mr vanatai zibo has vowed to unseat the number state governor prof chukuma solodo in the governorship election in the state in 2025. zibo is now a labor party aspirant for the number state governorship election in 2025. he has given his indication when he was with the House of Representative member representing the Baru Federal constituency in the National Assembly, Afam Ogeni and other party leaders received over 3D campaigns from the All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA, and other party into the Labour Party. The D campaigns mainly APGA members in the Ogbaru local government area were led into Labour Party by the APGA candidate for the Ogbaru One State constituency during the last Anambra State House of Assembly election, Honorable Pius in the BC, Iguilo. They were also received by the chairman of the Labour Party in Ogbaru local government, Prince Emeka Mwuzu, and several other stalwarts of the Labour Party in the local government, including Biwin Ezenwan Madu, the Labour Party for Ogbaru One State Constituency during the last state assembly election, and Director General of Senator Tony Wonye Campaign Organization in Ogbaru local government, OK HDK. Among the DCAMPs in the APGA, we have former local government chairman, ward chairman, Women leader and critical stakeholder in Ogbaru local government area. So, is it but while receiving the D campaign at the Holiday Resort Field, Onija expressed optimism that the rate at which members of other political parties in the state were defecting to Labour Party will guarantee the party success in the future election at both local, state, and national level. So now he has charged the new entrant to become fishermen <laughs> by ensuring that they convince members of other political parties in their various world to join the Labour Party, which he described as a moving train. <laughs> he said he's happy to witness what is going on here today, that he has taken a fantastic decision that will help to ensure the Labour Party produces the next Anambra governor. He asks in the Anambra and the verdict is that it's not doing well. So they are using this point to say that Soludo must vacate the government house in 2025. Governor Chukuma Solodo time is up. They said he cannot come back for a second time because he has disappointed in their number. So it is now left for the Labour Party to take over. Valata Ezibu said that Solodo has failed in his responsibilities to live up to the expectation. And he thinks that a number of people will dispense with him and bring in Labour Party in 2025 with him as the chief shepherd to harness the potential of the state. Also receiving the campaigns, Ogene, who is also the chairman committee on renewable energy in the House of Representatives, as well as chairman of Labour Party National Assembly Caucus, told them that they had no option. They had no other option than to join Labour Party since Governor Solo Dozapka had disappointed in their number with his leadership policies, including his failure to conduct local government elections as he promised during his campaign period. Ogene said that it's not about constructing roads alone, that even an individual can construct roads, but the nitty granting of governance lies in the ability of a governor to settle disputes, maintain adequate security, and manage the affairs of the state effectively. So there is no disunity in Labour Party, whether you are from the North, West, East, or South, that the Labour Party door is open at all times. So it is good they enter into the place that is good and they must enter on time that they have come to strengthen the party and they will work together to take over anambra in 2025 <laughs> hey my speaking the former Abga chief tenancy who led the defectors prince igwilo stated that they decided to leave Abga to make sure that the state governor prof chukuma solodo was not re-elected for a second time in office he could have stated that 
Soludo has performed poorly in the past two years of his administration and he has vowed that they would make sure that Soludo did not win second term in office. Ibilo was formerly in Abga but currently in Labour Party. So he was the one that led the campaigns into the Labour Party and he had decided to leave Abga to join the Labour Party because as we all can see, sell the Labour Party is for the people and most of the elected members are at the centre too. That their principal minister Peter Obi has shown good character and good example in the Labour Party and they are here to support him in his pursuit for a country that is working for all of us. They left Apuga because the slogan Apuga Bunkai, that is Apuga is our own, has become a merry statement and the promise they gave them in Anambra State last time have not been fulfilled and that is why the people are disillusioned. The state governor is doing his best, but his best are not enough. He has failed his promises. He did not even do one. So what tangible project has he given to them? That is what they are asking. That He, he promised them that he would conduct local government election after two years as governor in office. But this is going to three years. He has failed to do that. And he is looking for another tenor. That it doesn't make sense that any politician that made promises during election and refuse to fulfill it should not be given the second opportunity so they think it's high time for anambra to try another party and see what they can do because nothing tangible is happening in anambra to set the road he was building are things the local government chairman can do if election conducted but it is not an achievement that a governor will come and do boho and be announcing it all over the places that he himself can do boho for the people these are things individual can do the guru said when we look at the kind of road soludo gave them <laughs> at ochaja that the first rain wash a part of it off so who knows what will happen by the time raining season fully setting but they pray that the road will last that the expectation are high now that is the reason why they went to join labor party that the labor party elected officials are really doing well that those at the house of assembly fortified their six month salary for the people all across the country, Labour Party officials are really doing very well. The leader of the D campaign donated about 200 bags of 10 kg of rice to the Labour Party members, including a ward office at Akmoko. <laughs> My people, these people don't start again. They are into Soludo. They say Soludo is not doing anything. So it's right time for them to set him free from that office that he has to let go. They are not even thinking about voting for him for the second tenor. Because they have not really seen the tangible thing he has done to the people of Anambra. Why is someone saying that Soludo is trying, that he's working, that they should give him a second chance, that he's trying, that he will finish very well as he did when he, he was a CBN governor. That Soludo is trying, oh, but those working with him is sabotaging his government. That, for example, his commissioner for environment is really not fit for that position. That he's not fit for that position. If Soludo can keep all the roads in their city clean, sweep the road, <laughs> and they will not see any single sad. Then he will become the best governor. For, but as he is not doing that, there is no way they can recommend him as the best governor in Anambra State. So, guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Let's keep the conversation live in our comment section. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to us. We really do appreciate. At this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Like, come your winners. Stay safe, guys. Bye.